Hey, I'm Leighton Jordan, and two months ago, my life was changed forever. Are you ready to find out who your new Miss Georgia is? Leighton Jordan! Having a strong support system, especially these past two months, is so important to me. They help me through all of life's up and downs, and they help me keep perspective on this whole journey. My brother is deaf, but the fact that he's there watching me and supporting me, it's a huge reason of why I do what I do, and me signing I love you once I won. And that was to Robin, it's always to Robin. When we first saw each other, you know, after I won, he said, you know, I'm so proud of you, and then I love you. I don't remember much from that night, but I remember this moment because that was when I, you know, just looked up and said, thank you, God, because it, it all made sense then. I started dancing when I was two years old. My mom actually was a professional ballet dancer, so that was my primary focus even at age two and three, surprisingly. Getting accepted to Houston Ballet too when I was 15, that was kind of when I realized, wow, you know, my, my dream, it's right in my face and it's mine to either take it or not. And so when I had to stop dancing because of my injuries, you know, I can kind of realize that now my life is not about me and what I can do to get to the next level, but it's about what I can do to help others get to their next level. <laughs> this is how Leighton actually asked me to be her princess at Miss Georgia. Yep. It was a fun way for her to ask me. <laughs> it was a challenging way. I got this puzzle made with four different pictures of us, and then I got prints on it. Tori, will you please be my Miss Georgia princess? This one is actually the first time we met. We always went to the gift store, so that's what this yeah. picture is, is she has some light up purple dreads. And this one, we were just walking outside. It was a nice fall day. Yeah. We had some crazy times in the hospital. Yes. We were in the hospital, and she actually bought some arts and crafts, and we made a hat. It says, faith, hope, love, everything that I love, like, love. My life experiences have helped me to have a lot of strengths. I had five roommates in Houston, all from different countries, and that just gave me a great appreciation for diversity. And then growing up with a special needs brother has instilled in me since a young age to take what I have been given in life and to use it to help others. And so with those things combined with the responsibility that I learned moving away from home at 15 years old, I truly believe that I'm ready to be the next Miss America. I hope that you've gotten to see a little bit of who I am and what my life is like leading up to Miss America. And you can watch me live on ABC from Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino on Saturday, January 12th. Bye.